Hi there, welcome to Biz Talk. I'm Mikhail Raj, your host. As usual, Biz Talk is on every Friday at 6.30 p.m. on Bernama News Channel 502. You can also catch us on My TV 121 and Unify TV 631. Today we focus on Sears Berhad, a water heater specialist company, which will be listed on Bursa Malaysia, especially, uh, especially on the leading entrepreneur accelerator platform or LEAP market. It has used its expertise in inventing eco-friendly and energy-efficient electrical appliances. And from its humble beginnings in 2010, the company has come a long way in penetrating uh, what is surely a highly competitive market in Malaysia. We talked to its founder and inventor, the challenges he went through through this remarkable journey and expansion plans after listing. The full details on BizTalk. Welcome back. Uh, now remember, you can also watch us online, especially if you're on the go at www.bernama.com or via our Facebook page live. To talk more on Sears vision after listing, we have in the studio Dr. Ken Fu, inventor and founder of Sears Bharat. Welcome to BizDog, Dr. How are you today? I'm good. Yes. Hi, Mike. Thank yes. you for having me here. Yes, good to have you in the studio first. Others, Dr. Tell us about this remarkable uh, journey, you know, from 2010 uh, to all the way now, and now you're going for listing, you know. So how did it all start? Well, I was started as a technical background in the aircon industry. Okay. As we know that technical background in aircon is called, we call it HVAC, hot, cold and ventilation, okay. whereby a hot and cold is involved. Mm -hmm. So, well, I've been in 20 over years of uh, aircon uh, technical background, mm -hmm. so whereby I was inspired by a friend, you know, which is told me that if I'll be able to invent a water heater without a heating element, uh -huh. which is safe for the people, you know, for the consumer, okay. you know, life will be different, you know. Yeah. From that moment, you know, I began a full of inspiration and I started, you know, to invent my Sears hot water system. So what exactly did you invent? Uh, because when you call yourself an inventor, that's remarkable. What exactly did you invent? Well, um, I invented a replacement of the heating element because a uh, water heater, there's a heating element okay. submerging into the water, okay. you see. So the dangers of the heating element is you may get electrical shock okay. due to there's live current in connect with the water, okay. you see. So we invented um, um, a replacement of heating element, therefore, that's very, very safe mm -hmm. for p people, 100% safety for the people to use, okay. as well as eco-friendly, environmental friendly and energy saving. So it's done quite well in the market, eh? Oh yes, indeed. So that's why the next question is: uh, What are the company's uh, prospects uh, after listing in terms of uh, growth and maybe expansion? You know, okay. of course, the uh, prospect is actually give us a very huge boost for uh -huh. the our brand name okay. Sears. Mm -hmm. You see, it's uh, actually very healthy for us because it. It really gives me a great confidence, you see, because it's my dream, it's my desire, okay. you know, to, to, to be uh, serious, to be on board on this uh, Brusa Chaos SE. Okay. You see, so, of course, um, you know, as a listed uh, company, we'll be able to get more funds coming in. That means that, you know, more more fuel coming in and we can fly higher and further, you know. Because it's like, a, it's like a, a one step before you go for a major listing, main list or ACE listing or even major listing. But then I think the reason why SMEs go for LEAP is to get funds they do not uh, normally obtain in the banking sector or financial institutions. I think you can assess funds from the capital market. Exactly. And I think that will allow you to expand and uh, maybe go into other markets. Uh, but the company, the question is, uh, how does the company keep up with competition? Before that, you are the only uh, water heater company who is going for listing, right? Yes, correct. Uh, that's the number one in this country. So how yes. do you keep up with competition in the water heating system sector? Because uh, the energy saving sector, because a lot of companies are also offering uh, environmentally friendly products, green products, and there's a lot of competition. So how did you age all these people out to go for listing, you know? Yeah. Sears is the only water heater manufacturer in Malaysia that has been awarded a green certificate from Singapore government. Okay. As well as Sears is the only water heater manufacturer in Malaysia ah. has been have a energy certificate from TUV 
with his German certificate. So it's a patent that was your company, right? Yes, uh, we are the first uh, Malaysian um, to be won this award in, in Gini Geneva Invention Show uh. out of nine participants all over the world. Mm -hmm. CS is the first one and I'm the first Malaysian who won this winner award uh -huh. that we are using ambient air and a very low power mm -hmm. to generate hot water. Okay, so it doesn't use much electricity, is it? Oh, it doesn't use, use a lot, very minimum. Okay, basically, uh, you're talking about the Malaysian market, is there enough demand for environmentally friendly uh, products? Like basically, um, what I'm asking you is uh, the prospects for water heating products as far as your company is concerned. You know, because are people really conscious about green environment? Are they buying your products or they still got a long way to go? Okay. Oh yes, certainly. You know, mm -hmm. as uh, all the developers are going into green aspects, yeah. as you can see, all street lights are using LED yeah. cars into hybrid cars now into fully electric cars, mm -hmm. and water heater is the second highest energy consumption okay. in electrical appliances. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, water heater is very very important. Besides safety, you know, you know, each and every one can be part of contribution to the society by okay. participating. Serious green hot water system eco-friendly okay. you see so that at least we can save our mother earth global warming as well i see so when did you decide to go for listing is it whatever a few years ago and what prompted you to go for listing you know well um, of course all these things has been planning into three years of record you okay know. okay we, we are re really working very hard on it okay. and uh, thank god we are really blessed by all these uh, developers you mm -hmm. know in malaysia that which is uh, brought us until into to today's platform okay. and uh, we are hoping on um, beginning of um, uh, next month which is we are targeting on 17 hopefully we'll get the green light from Busan Malaysia oh you applied right you have not uh, con con confirmed the date yet eh? yes okay uh, Ju uh, July 17th eh? yes it has been approved by Busa from okay. uh, uh, we'll be able to go for listing but just waiting for the, we're waiting for the date yeah that, that yes. is a lot more to talk about Sears and his listing on uh, Busa Malaysia but hold your thoughts that uh, we'll take a short break and we'll be back after these messages stay with us Gain insights from the people with the capacity to translate vision into reality. Interviews with corporate leaders at 8.30pm Monday, only on BNC. Brings you the latest in current affairs, lifestyle and entertainment. As well as one-on-one -on -one discussions with fascinating personalities. Only on Onama News Channel. Welcome back. Uh, we are talking to Dato Ken Fu, inventor and founder of CS Barad, a water heater specialist company which is going for a listing on the lead market on Bursa Malaysia, possibly in July, as I said, Dato. Dato. But the other thing is that CS foc uh, focuses mainly on the domestic market. Are there plans to go regional uh, and is ASEAN a lucrative market because you're talking about the ASEAN economic community and all that. So what are your plans as far as market penetration is concerned? Currently, um, we do exports. Uh, we are the first electrical appliances export to Japan okay. and to Iran. Mm -hmm. uh, we export to India as well and Philippines. Okay. So, um, Asia Pacific is very important for us. Okay. I see, um, and I'm looking forward that um, we are hopefully we'll be able to have uh, Thailand, Indonesia as well as Vietnam. Okay. What about when you differentiate between the markets and all that? Uh, how much of it is a domestic market? How much of it is a foreign market now? Now. Oh, uh, basic right now is actually we are very strong in domestic market, okay. uh, which is residential because okay. uh, we um, we have a full system. CS is, has a full system of hot water device, mm -hmm. can actually capable for residential, commercial, up to industrial package. Okay, my because my question is uh, like right, right now, I think uh, majority is for the local market, and you have talked about a few of, of major markets. You know, maybe maybe after five years. Uh, do you think you'll have a, like a 80, 20% or a 70, 30% kind of a ratio between the domestic market or foreign market? Oh, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get uh, more on uh, in the foreign market. Okay. Uh, because I'm quite uh, 
taken aback by the fact that you sent to India and Philippines, but Ireland, no, and you also sent uh, exported to Japan, you know. Yes. Uh, Japan is not an easy market exactly. to penetrate. And you, how long have you been there? No, we just entered the market uh, okay. less than a year ago. Okay, is there a potential in Japan? Oh yes, certainly, certainly. I see, because uh, the fact is Japanese produce all your own products and mm. when you're talk, talking about electrical appliances or water uh, uh, heaters and all that, I think they are number one there, you see? Yes, yes. So, and then you are actually entering their uh, market. I think you are entering the lion's den, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good luck to you on that. But Thank can you. you tell us about the uh, Best Invention Award and other awards won by the company. It's not every day that Malaysian companies win awards on inventions, you know, invention of such products, which I assume has positioned the company in a, well, in a very favorable position when you market your products because you got this accolades that you got an award. Well, what are the awards that you have won? Eh? Well, the, um, because in water heater wise, um, ah. this is the fifth generation of hot water systems, uh, okay. besides the, all the conventional ones. Yeah? Okay. So basically, um, whereby this hot water system, we don't apply any heating element nor compressor, it's just like a heat pump, okay. you know, and uh, it's a very, very energy saving and useful. And uh, we got this, um, the best, my best award is actually give me a huge bo boost and uh, and my company as well, ah. is the um, our Geneva invention. Okay. Um, Impo how important is that award? Eh? Of course, because uh, out of nine participants all over the world, uh -huh. you know, uh, all over races. Mm -hmm. Hundred and? Hundred and? Nine hundred participants. Nine hundred participants yes. and you won that award? Yes, yes. This exactly. was in? Which, uh, what year was this that? Is, um, this was in uh, 2018. 2018. 2018. Sorry. So yes. what is the award all about? Eh? This award is actually, uh, we're using ambient air, air okay. from the surrounding, okay. and the very low power is like a 12 volt DC, something like your car and my car, okay. battery power, uh -huh. to generate hot water. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. Worried, I'm just wondering, uh, puzzled as to why 900 other companies never thought about doing this and you did it. Uh, I, think, I think you did some national service for Malaysia, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I faced a lot of challenge on that during uh, our road shows, you see, because uh, some people might come up to ask me, you know, hey, you know, why not this, this invention cannot be done in, in Western country? Why you? Oh, so I see. My, okay. my, my answer to them is, you know, why our Dato Lee Chong Wei can win okay. the Western guy? <laughs> okay, the other thing about the competition in the local market, are there, uh, are there a lot of competi competitors in, in the Malaysian market for your products or, or just near, there's a lot of near competitors, they're not able to compete with you because yours is uh, like uh, a patent for an invention that you did, you see? Okay. Um, all our competitors are just using the uh, old method, conventional ways. Okay. Because of patent, because of this protection, okay. we'll be able to move fast, you see. see. Because everyone would like to participate green and Sears is the only water heater that can actually can, can win a green green mark, green okay. label. Okay, what is your customer base uh, in Malaysia? We, who are your customers? Which sectors are your customers? Eh? We are doing a lot of, um, our 89% is more on uh, residential, okay, residential and uh, the rest is hotel because hotel is actually very, very, um, you know, uh, useful because uh, there's four reasons why hotel want to use. Okay. Number one is low capital cost. Mm -hmm. Number two is low running cost. Mm -hmm. Number three is nearly zero maintenance. Okay. Number four is safety because there's no risk of electrocution. Okay, I see. Yeah. So, so the other thing is that, uh, that means uh, your product is closely tied to the fortunes in the property market. So how is the property market doing now, you know, as, as the demand for your products? Eh? Well, hot, water heater is a hot demand. It's a necessity, just like uh, air conditioning. Okay. So everyone needed the water heater. That's for the hotels and all that. What about for... For residential uh, as well. Residential, yes. eh? And then the commercial and industrial buildings? Commercial, uh, commercial, of course, hotels. You know, you can't run away because okay. hotel and uh, ho hotels like aircon and water heaters is a necessity. Yeah, what is the percentage uh, breakdown between uh, residential, commercial or... Industrial, right? Is it like a uh, 30, 30, 30 or? No, currently we are in our, in our CS uh, <coughs> company, we are doing around 89% for residential. 89% for residential, Yeah, right? 89% of residential. So it's a retail product, right? Huh? Uh, no, we do much more on project basis. We I are very strong in project. Oh, for the, the developer and all that? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, I see. Uh, what is your, uh, this uh, product you're talking about and you uh, talked about risks to the product and all that because one of the things that we are always afraid of when it comes to water heater is uh, uh, electrocution, is it? So what is that that sets you apart from other companies uh, where it is more safe than others? 
and as far as this risk is concerned. Eh? Number one, water water heater stands for very high power consumption. Okay. You see, number two is the risk is actually people tend to get electrocution yeah, because yeah. Mm. because of the live wire connecting to the heating element and okay. the heating element is submerging to the water. Uh -huh. And you know, because of Malaysia is an Asian country, it's a hot water. Okay. It can corrode mm -hmm. the heating element. Once it's corroded, eventually one single hairline crack, you know, the oh. whole water become live conductor. That's okay. how it, the risk is there. You know, well, some people said you know, and uh, they have the ELCB, you know, the yeah, circuit the breaker. All of us have. Yeah, ELCB, there's one malfunction of the ELCB, there's no indication, there's no sound, there's no light, nobody who knows. So you in see? your product, you have indications, is it? No, in our product, we don't have any live wire no. connecting okay. to the heating element. It's not like a conventional type. It's a replacement of the heating element. Okay. So therefore, it's 100% safe for the consumer to use Sears water heater. So the, the question, of course, every retail uh, or resident will ask is, uh, is your product uh, cost effective compared to other uh, water heating products in the market? Oh, we have a few range. Uh, few of range. course, yes, we have the apple to apple compare. We okay. have the most slightly 100 ringgit above compared to the conventional one because uh, it's energy saving. After mm. all, your return on investment on the water heater itself okay. is already you know less than two years you know yeah. it depends on how many times usage of the water heater i see so you're very confident of your markets eh? oh yes definitely with the growing growth of you know the everyone is facing the green path of yeah. course definitely you know everyone would love to have safety device and energy saving as well with the gst being re zero rated will that have an impact on your company as well as uh, increasing demand because your product is a lot cheaper now, you know. Yes, definitely. Of is, course. Is, it, is it already being shown? Yes, already being shown. Immediately, as you can see, there's an increasing of demand because there's no more GST. Oh, no uh, more GST. Eh? Yes. So, it means you increase sales and uh, this during this period until at least until September. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Okay, yes. So okay. Yes, that's all. Uh, indeed, a lot of quite interesting to talk about your company. and then. Uh, but then we'll take a short break uh, and we return, we'll see how. Uh, Bursa Malaysia and the Ringgit close the week and also prospects for the maybe your listing after CS Barat and your vision for the company after once you're listed. Eh? Don't go away. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, in this segment, we see how Bursa Malaysia and the Ringgit close the week and we'll continue our discussion with CS Barat founder and inventor so for this week, uh, Bursa Malaysia ended the week higher today on continued uh, mid-year window dressing and activities led by Tanaga and Maybank amid uh, reduced negative sentiment of a global trade war as stocks in China uh, rebounded. So dealers said at 5 p.m. the key FTSE Bursa Malaysia KLCI closed 25.82 points uh, or 1.55 percent firmer at 1.691. 1.50 from Thursday's close of 1665.68 points. So this is a good news for the market. It's been down for quite a number of days, uh, and the index opened about 6.0.64 of a point lower at 1665.04, and moved between 1664.69 and 1701.65 throughout the trading session. And uh, according to some analysts, the easing sentiment over a trade fight could help uh, provide optimistic global growth. Uh, prospects and they say it's a good sign that the FBM KLCI has recovered over 25 points since falling 10.5 percent since the post 14th uh, general election and they said they hope for this positive uh, uh, trend to continue as for the ringgit it's uh, it uh, ended higher against the US dollar today uh, in line with gains in most Asian um, currencies at 6 p.m. the ringgit was quoted at uh, 4.0380 uh, against the US dollar compared to 4.04 uh, yesterday and this is uh, shows that the ringgit is a little bit under pressure and dealers and investors uh, interest shifted towards uh, regional currencies ahead of the release of US employment expected to be released next week. So uh, Dato, just your uh, thoughts on the stock market because you are going to be a published company and your shareholders will be looking at your share prices and all that and I know uh, the market is improving very slightly it could be good and all that but what is your what are your thoughts on sentiment on Bursa Malaysia you know? of course um, you know there's a lot of strong investor outside still waiting for the good timing to come in you see okay so definitely a uh, very very positive feeling that you know eventually the market will grow so maybe they might accumulate uh, sales <laughs> stocks at, uh, <laughs> at, at, the, at the very uh, 
uh, good level and then they'll go up later and make some gains on that. Uh. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, talking about listing, uh, what are your specific plans for the company as a listed entity? You know, from henceforth now you'll be a listed entity, all lives will be on you. So what are your plans for CS Berhad? Of course, definitely uh, with this uh, fund coming, we'll be able to boost up more on A&P on our brand awareness and okay. market um, education. Mm -hmm. And of course, there will be a very interesting new pipeline product coming in. Okay. Four products which is coming in, you see. So, but before that, uh, you are talking about raising funds in the market. How much do you plan to raise uh, in the capital market? Uh, we are putting up 25%, which is uh, we're going to raise up 5 million in. This is from the proceeds or...? Process of the listing is it? It's already in our info memo. Okay, yes. twenty-five million. Huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, it's five million. Five 25 million. Percent. I see. So you're talking about new products and all that. So because my question is, uh, it's not wise to put all the eggs in one basket. Is it? You need to diversify. So you are now on water heating uh, equipment and all that. So what are your future plans as far as product is concerned, or maybe later uh, product diversification? Of course, currently we have our uh, online product besides water heater. We okay. have our call so called three second thermal dispenser. This one is actually very very healthy mm -hmm. and very very sellable because uh, everyone drinks coffee and drinks Milo, okay. and you know there's no reboiling or hot water device. You okay. see, so this is actually once you put your cup there, three seconds on demand, the hot water immediately comes out, and this is very high demand and sellable in our, in our companies. So it will do very well in the retail market because you're talking about coffee machines and all that, and they're very popular right now, right? Okay, yes, that's one of them. What about the other yes. products? Eh? The other products that uh, which is coming in in our pipeline is actually um, we have our like uh, rice cooker. This rice cooker is actually because Malaysia uh, have very high demand on actually um, diabetic patient and mm. people love to eat rice. You see, mm -hmm. and we have this special rice cooker that actually extract the sugar out, so everyone can enjoy the rice. You know, with a healthy lifestyle. Oh, this is quite interesting. Now, is this something that you invented, or how yes, do you actually yes. extricate the sugar from the rice? Yeah, it because in techno technology wise, you know, um, well, we boil the uh, the rice, you know, in seventy five degree, and we have electronic control to release the water out, and then we use the steam method to actually heat up the rice, cook the rice. So is this is this already the market? These two products? Well, in the pipeline soon coming okay. soon. It's still but the first product is already online. It's available. The coffee thing. Yes, yes, a three three second dispenser. Yes, that is already in the online. And how is the demand for that product? Oh, the demand is very high because uh, is everybody needs it because it's a pure oxygen water because we boiling water can cause cancer because it's a dead water okay. and you can go Google search it's called dead water okay. and um, well this our 3 second CS 3 second thermal dispenser there's no more reboiling method it's mm -hmm. on your demand okay. you see we want press 3 second without any heating element with our CS technology uh -huh. invention you see immediately 3 seconds you can have a hot water on your demand okay. and immediately once you fully fill up the cup you can just press one button it stops Okay, what about the other products? You're talking about four now. You mentioned yeah, two, the, the, two the others. Eh? Yes, the second one is actually a steam cold wave. You call it steam cold wave. Okay. Because steam uh, cold wave. Eh? Steam cold wave. Because everybody knows microwave. Microwave. Right? Okay. Microwave is actually have a very high radiation. Uh -huh. Number two, you can put a steel inside there. You keep my explosion. Yeah. Okay. So our CS steam cold wave is actually. No worries of explosion and oh, you, you can know, put you anything, any, any element inside. Uh? Yes, no worries of radiation, you see. Mm -hmm. And you can have steam and you have, you know, uh, um, uh, as the same, uh, exactly the same method as microwave. There's and your last product? And the third one is actually our aircon without compos compressor. We call it a cool air, dehumidity cool air. Okay. You see, the, this one is going to be very interesting because as Malaysia is a very high humid. You see. Oh, you so can say that again. <laughs> it's just very hot, actually. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and okay. uh, our cooling device can extract. You see the high humid. You see, okay. break off the cold and molecule immediately. You see, mm -hmm. so that we can extract the plus and mod negative molecule, and then we can actually uh, extract the cold molecule, which is a negative molecule, mm -hmm. and actually to blow up. You see, okay. so it's people like you know having outdoor function, mm -hmm. they be able to use our serious humidity cooler. Okay, how many staff do you have? Huh? Because uh, in any company, the workforce is the most important, you see. So from 2010, how many staff you had? How many do you have now, you know? Oh, as we beginning in 2010, um, back in seven years ago, uh. we uh, started in our business is less than 10%. Oh, okay. And from 10% go to 20 over, go to 30 over, and then until today, we have about 60 over staff. 
I say this yeah, is still okay. stuff. No? Yes. Do you have a very uh, in-depth uh, research and development unit? Because you're talking about new products, you're talking about diversification. You're you're you're, you're an inventor yourself. So do you have a very uh, developed uh, R and D section? You know? Of course, indeed, because R and D department is very very important in my industry. Because uh, I'm having my um, partner, mm. Mr. Eastwood Chan, together with me. Yeah. So both of us, uh, he's my co-inventor, uh -huh. and actually we are working very hard on it as as well as our. Our um, um, assistant is actually helping into this. Okay, Dr. So thank you very much for your time, and I wish you and your team uh, good luck in all your undertakings, especially after listing. And I hope for a good listing price for your company and all that. Okay, that's all the time we have for Biz Talk this week. And thank you, Mary Fair, for this gorgeous set. Until the next time, bye for now. Bye.